What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! What's up? Episode 439. Why do I love bands? Now, we talk about bands a lot on here. We showcase the bands. You see the bands. You see the rotation of the bands. I tell you how to hook them up. A lot of people don't engage in the band work because they say, oh, well, my gym doesn't have bands. Well, neither did my gym. I had to fucking buy them. They're not that expensive. Or I don't really know how to hook them up. We have plenty of videos here. But why do we not just like them? Why do we fucking love them? Why did Westside love them? There's, it is the absolute best way to overload your central nervous system and for you to learn how to be aggressive through, like, there's so many reasons why we love the bands. I can overload the top of the lift every day, basically, with the way we utilize them because we use them four or five days a week. I can force my body under that tension, especially with an eccentric, like we're doing eccentrics, it's pulling me down and I gotta fight it. It makes me learn how to brace harder so when I brace through it, I can be more aggressive. It teaches you how to lift better because if you're not aggressive and you don't brace and you don't have good position, you're going to get exposed. And then it's just like running with a parachute when you take it off. It's just like running with a sled when you take it off. It's just like jumping with ankle weights and take them off. And then you get, it, your, your body opens up to a new category, a new level. It says, oh, wait a second. We've already, you know, grinded through this type of weight. And now these bands are off. This shit feels light. My old weights that used to feel heavy now feel so light and so fast. And my confidence has grown through that. I'm going to a whole nother level. Now I'm breaking PRs. Now I understand position. Oh, wait, my front rack position feels so much better when you take those bands off because I didn't work three and four weeks. And why do we wave them? We wave them because like last week was one black band. Then it's a black and a red. This week's two reds and a black. That's 300 pounds of tension. And then I make 133 because it's kilo plates. Like plus, I mean, that's 400 and some pounds that I'm touching almost every day on a front squat. So then when it comes to Friday and I take all the bands off, my body's like, ooh, 300 feel easy, 350 feel easy, 375 wrapped up feel easy. Like it's all about tricking the body. The body has perceived threat because it doesn't want to get you hurt. The body is going to like almost kind of like nervous system wise until you train it, going to hold you at a certain point. You see on social media, it says no cap, no, no ceiling, no whatever. The bands truly mimic the way that the tendon works, like when you're pressing, it's the way the tendon, when you're pulling, it's the way the tendons, it's like, if you can push through the bands, you take the time to learn it, you take the time to wave them, you take the time to get the setup, take them to, you will fucking never go back. Now, are they difficult? Oh boy, are they difficult. Dude, will you get humbled real fucking quick? Oh boy, will you get humbled. You'll make a quarter jump sometimes, it'll bend you the fuck over. But then you're like, okay, I know the way I gotta brace. Oh, okay, I know what time it is. Like this, I'm telling you, I absolutely love bands and I've never seen people get stronger, under weights, faster and more consistent than using them. That's why I love bands, that's why I use bands, and you should too.